Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the previous lectures, we discussed to transfer the 16 or 32 bit values to the destination. Now we want to move the blocks of data with the B move instruction. B move instruction is used to move the blocks of data. If you want, you can program multiple sequence of move instructions to move contiguous blocks of data. However, it is more efficient to use the B move block move instruction, which is provided specifically for this purpose. Here is this instruction. If the input is turned on, it will move block of source to the destination. How many blocks? K5, five numbers. How does it work? When we use B move instruction, it will take the five blocks D10, 11, 12, 13, 14 up to destination D200, 201, 2, 3, 4. This K5 defines the number of blocks. When it is written K2, it will transfer two blocks from the source to destination. When it is written as K4, it will transfer four blocks contiguous blocks data source 16 bit devices first device is source first device source second is the destination the number of elements to be moved maximum 512 512 the example above works as follows when we use this instruction it will work in this this way as i have discussed d10 to 10 11 12 13 14 five blocks this is a supposed data this will be moved to the destination d20 d200 d201 2 3 4 five data registers five values from the five registers will be moved in the shape of a block to the five destination registers this is called b block b move a block move b move can also be used as a pulse triggered b move p when we use this b move p it will work on the rising edge of the input pulse blocks of bit devices when you move blocks of bit devices with b move the k factor of the data source and the data destination must always be identical this case should be the similar for the source and the destination blocks of bit devices as we have discussed this is an example when we use B move K1 M0 K1 Y0 K2 it will K1 M0 is source K1 Y0 is the destination so it will move K1 M0 K1 mean four blocks of M0 M1 M2 M3 here is this is K1 M0 M0 M1 M2 M3 and k1 y0 k1 mean as we have discussed earlier four numbers of y0 y1 y2 y3 so this block represents this and this block represents this as we have used the block k2 it means that it will transfer the two blocks of this source to the two blocks of edit at this destination so this is the first block from m0 to m3 the second block start from m4 to m5 6 m up to m7 here in the destination the second block start from y0 y2 up to y4 y5 y7 so this these two blocks this is two block k1 m0 these are the two blocks that will be moved to k1 y0 this is k1 y0 using this k2 instruction k2 means two blocks we can check it out in the plc when the input is turned on output will be moved in the shape of blocks my plc is fx3 you see it is not supporting this instruction you can use a higher version to execute this instruction b move it will move the block from d10 11 12 13 14 up to d200 which is d200 201 2 3 and 4 you, because we are using k5 which means that five blocks of the source will be moved to five blocks at the destination here we are using k2 it will move the five blocks from the source to the uh, it will move two blocks from the source to the two blocks at the destination here k1 x0 k1 meaning four blocks x0 x1 2 3 and as this is indicate that two blocks will be transferred so k1 up to x4 and x0 to x4 and then x4 to x7 these are two blocks which will be moved to y0 to y3 and up to y4 to y7 as we have discussed it earlier this is very important instruction which will save your time it will move the data in a higher speed with, the, with less timing and it is very a very advanced feature of the Mitsubishi PLZ. Thank you so much for watching this video.